thinking about buying the flowers and I'm like, no, I want to be bought some flowers. And one thing about Mr. He's very consistent with the buying of the flowers, but these days he's been dropping the ball. Hi y'all, happy Sunday. So I'm in Brooklyn today and right now it's 632 and naturally I would have probably already left depending on the day and what time I came but today my lady is a little bit all over the place so I think I'm gonna be here until like maybe eight nine when she like actually falls asleep I haven't really had any dinner because the food that I had I ate it from earlier because I thought she would have been good side note you probably gotta be careful who you live below because these people upstairs I swear to god they've been running marathons ever since I've been here if they had apple watches they would have closed all the rings on these Apple Watches from 9 a.m. They're really up. Anyways, so yeah, I'm in Brooklyn and I'm gonna be here for a little minute. So I guess maybe another two and a half hours or so. I don't really know. I don't even know how I'm gonna get home. Maybe I'll just Uber home, honestly, because that late, I'm not gonna be caught dead taking the train. All right, seven o'clock I'll do. Anything after that, it's a wrap. Somebody is gonna have to come scoop me or I'm gonna be taking an Uber. And I haven't taken an Uber in well over two, three weeks at this point. So I think that should be fine if I take an Uber today. Um, I was thinking about camping out here and waiting until like the girl gets here in the morning, but I literally am unprepared for that. And I have to, I'd have to leave here and go to class in the morning. I have nothing for that. So I'm definitely gonna have to go home. Not a story for another day. But um, as I'm talking about class, tomorrow and Tuesday are my last two days of PCT school. And I'm so excited. I'm finishing up phlebotomy right now. And then we're going to have the state licensing exam, which is very exciting and nerve wracking. So I have my little notebook here with me because when I tell you, I've been going through and reading over the notes and everything because I did really good with EKG and I passed that, but this phlebotomy here, this last couple of days, I feel like it's specifically because the lecturer took too long to teach us these last pieces. So it's like blowing me a little bit tomorrow. Definitely gonna be drawing blood again. I attempted that on Friday. However, my friend had a rolling veins. So by the time I anchored her vein, which is pretty much pulling down on her vein and like sticking the needle, the vein was gone. So we're gonna try that again tomorrow. Also, um, girl, <laughs> to her asking who's there. So we're gonna do that again tomorrow, which I'm really excited about and pretty much wrap up the class and then um, yeah, see which day we're gonna be doing the state licensing exam, which kind of nervous for that too. But at the end of this PCT course, they don't, the school that I go to, they only give us like a PCT certificate, but my friend and I, Jules and I, we would prefer to pay an extra hundred dollars and get the phlebotomy um certificate the ekg certificate and so at the end we will have those three certificates phlebotomy ekg and pct the lady was basically saying that some um employers they want to see you with um, if you go with just the PCT license and certificate or whatever, they're asking for you to go back to your school and get a letter to say that you completed the course or whatever. So we want to just get ahead of it and make sure that we have all our ducks in a row so that we can bring all of those at once so we don't have to keep going back and forth to the school. And then I need to go to my old employer either tomorrow or the following day. I really have time on my hands to be completely honest. I really have a lot to figure out, but I do also have a little bit of time where I can get that figured out. But for the most part, I'm just there. I'm just here. Does it take me out here? Where do you want to go? All right, y'all. Hi, you guys. Happy Monday. Today is my second to last day of PCT school. So amazing. Today we have revision. Okay. It's coming on to summertime, yeah. So um, like I'm saying, last two days here. Today we have revision. Tomorrow we have a final exam. And then in a couple of weeks, maybe a week or two, we're supposed to have our licensing exam. So when I go today, I wanna ask when the licensing exam is scheduled for. Don't know yet. But um, we'll see. Last night when I was at my ladies, I ended up being there until 9.30 because yesterday was not one of her better days. 
my flowers are so dead today is such a cheerless day so sad so i'm throwing them out i should have done this from last night but i forgot but um yeah yesterday was not one of her better days and so she was just not doing too great to be completely honest so um yeah that's where we're at i've been saving these rose petals but right now i don't really know how i feel about them like the dark ones are so pretty the red ones and the purple ones and stuff but the white ones look a little sad Oh no, they're bad. They're so bad. So I guess I'll just rinse this with some hot water. But um, flowers are like one of my favorite things in life. Like if you want to make me happy, buy me some flowers, maybe buy me some chocolate. You know, the little things. But yeah, I have to throw these out because they're dying. I'm kind of all over the place. I'm going from being at my latest to 9.30 to the flowers that I love so much to the flowers that are dead that I need to throw out. <laughs> just everything. But that's really all I have going on this morning. I'm basically ready. Today I'm not wearing the scrubs because it's the last two days and honestly, kind of over the scrubs. Today I'm not going to go to my ladies and today is a typical day that I would go there because I have an air conditioner scheduled to be delivered today. And last year, in March, I had the same issue where I ordered the very same air conditioner for my bedroom. Now I'm ordering it for it. Um, the other day, Mr. was sitting in the living room and he was literally sweating bullets and he's like, we need an air conditioner for this room. And I'm like, absolutely. Last year... I would have just gone in my room and just stayed there so it was fine but we actually do use the living room a lot so I'm like yeah you're right so we bought the same air conditioner that's in the bedroom for the living room and last year Amazon played me so I have a bit of PTSD along with the fact that it was supposed to be delivered from Friday and they texted me on some um if you don't get it by either the 18th or the 19th they just texted me because one thing about me, I'm going to sign up for text message updates. I just bent. And I almost thought I ripped my pants. These pants are very nice. I bought them from Shein. Y'all can't even see them anyways. They don't have any, um, no loops. I feel like I'm going to alter them at the sides a little bit. Just take it in a little bit for it to really cinch the waist. But, um, for the most part, they're really nice. They're giving, like, a leggings feel what size did i buy these in dang i bought them in a medium i should have gotten them in a small because they really show so i'm gonna buy them again and get them in a small maybe i'll buy a different color since i already have this black one that i'm planning to take in i don't know about anybody else but it always makes me so sad when i have to throw the flowers out i hate when they die yesterday i was gonna buy some flowers and i'm like no i want to be bought flowers yeah i heard that <laughs> imagine me standing at a flower shop the flowers are so pretty too. Thinking about buying the flowers and I'm like, no, I want to be bought some flowers. And I left them. And now I'm tight because I have to throw these out and I would have had something to replace them with. <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> and one thing about Mr. He's very consistent with the buying of the flowers, but these days he's been dropping the ball. So maybe I'll talk about it a little bit, you know? I'm joking. Let me not stress this man out. Because one thing about him, he will buy the replacements before the flowers even die, which, love that for us. And I'm going to just leave these to soak while I'm gone today because there's like a little residue from the water. Because I haven't changed the water in a couple of days. So there's a little residue in and around the thing, so I'm leaving it in there like that. And today, I'm supposed to be going to work to go drop off a paper. And then, y'all are going to see the scrubs full circle again. So there's that. <laughs> it's 7.30 and I should be leaving here anytime soon. Not that I want to be super early or anything, but at least when I get there early, I can sit for a little bit and I don't have to deal with the ridiculous traffic. But oh yeah, I just wanted to pop in. So the girl said she'd definitely stay for me today. So depending on how class goes today, I'll see how I'm gonna structure my next like week. So now I have to go and, um, because I had prepared to go to class and then go there after. So now that I'm not going there anymore, I'm going to have to go take some things out of my pocket box. So, yeah. Oh, damn, this, I gotta clean this mirror. The pants are so nice. I love them. But the waist, see, we got a lot of room. So we'll do something about that. Eventually, my bun is bunning, except for 
whatever we're not even touching it but yeah i'm ready to go so i'm gonna finish getting ready put some socks on and shoes and uh, i'll see you guys maybe later maybe in a couple of days i'll see y'all